do you get by achieving your goals is not as important as what you get by achieving your goals. Decide what you want to do and make it your goal. Make sure your goal is realistic. It may be a bit out of reach, but it must be something you can reach. There are two types of goals. Long-term goals like graduating from high school and short-term goals like improving your next report card by bringing up each grade by one letter. Moving, for, moving towards your goals is like climbing a ladder. Your goal is to get to the top of the ladder, but you have to go step by step to get there. The most important thing you can do to reach your goals is to write them out. Your goal is where you're headed, but you'll never get anywhere unless you have a plan to get there. Set specific goals you can measure. If your goal is to become a better reader, write out how much extra time you will spend each day to improve your reading. Will it be 15 minutes every weekday? Don't just say, I'm going to read more. You won't be able to measure whether you are moving towards your goal. Cut out an illustration or draw yourself reaching your goal so that you can have a picture in your mind. Remember, you can if you believe. Nobody reaches his or her goal magically. Ask yourself daily, am I really working hard to reach my goal? Share your goals with friends who also have goals so you can encourage each other. Remember setting goals with help you become the very best person you can be. Reach for the top of your list. Stay focused, go after your dreams, and keep moving towards your goals. LL oh, Cool J. Do you know what I'm going to be someday? Nope. Well, I'm going to be an astronaut. I'll orbit around the Earth, then land on the moon. Maybe I'll even be able to go to another planet. There are so many exciting things to learn. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, there are. I want to be an astronaut so badly. Until then, I'll work as hard as I can to become one. What do you want to be, Jason? I don't know. <laughs> well, I've been reading about astronauts, and to be one, I'm going to need a lot of education. I'll have to go to college and even graduate school. If I begin working now, I know I can do it. My parents think I can, too. Are you going to college, Jason? I don't know. <laughs> And I've learned that to go to college and work, work towards becoming an astronaut, I have to take advanced science and math courses in high school and become, and I have to make top grades in all of my classes and learn a lot. It's not easy to get into a good college, that kind of thing that a future, future astronaut should attend. Have you thought about which courses you are going to take in high school, Jason? Nope. <laughs> and to be able to take those advanced courses in high school and to do well, I'm going to have to work really hard in middle school. If not, I won't be able, I won't be prepared to take those courses. That's why I'm working in so hard in my classes now. Are you working hard in school, too, Jason? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, you don't act like you are interested in any of this. Don't you know what you want to do and what you do now in school is important for the future? Well, I guess so. I never thought much about it, I suppose. Well, it is. Don't you have goals, Jason? Goals? No, I don't think so. Why do you buy them? <laughs> Jason, you're such a joker. You don't buy them, silly. You get them from yourself. Look, Amber, I'm really not joking. What are these things you call goals? Well, Jason, I've been telling you my goals. Goals are plans you want to accomplish. You make a goal or plan and work toward it. Because, uh, what do you need them for anyway? I'm doing just fine drifting along. Jason, goals give you direction. When you're working towards a goal, you make decisions, the basis of your goal. You decide on things that will help you get closer to your goal. Without goals, you just drift along, as you say, and you may never be able to, to accomplish anything. Yeah, but if, if you change your mind, like, what if you you said when you finish school you don't want to be an astronaut? Or there's so many astronauts around there that they don't need you. Then you will have wasted all this work. How? What about that? No, I won't waste it. If I decide not to be an astronaut, 
I will have learned a lot of important things which will help me in another career. It's okay to change your goals sometimes. Mm, goals sound like a lot of extra jokes for me. I don't think so. My goals have already helped me this year. My goal for this year is to make an A average at the end of the year. How is that, been, that, how is that helping you now? That doesn't like years a long time away. Yes, but to make an A average at the end of the year, I have to do well each nine weeks. In this last nine weeks, I had all A's except for one B in English. I'm going to bring my B up. I'm working extra hard on that subject. Like today, I have a goal to make 100 on my English. So you think your A's each nine weeks will make you an astronaut? <laughs> they are the first step towards it. You have to break your goals down into little steps as you work gradually towards the big goal. Oh. Yeah, like you, Jason. What is something you really want? A new bike. My own has had it, but my parents can't buy me a new one right now. OK, what do you need to do to get a new bike? Money. Lots of money. <laughs> Alright, then let the bike be your big goal. What are some steps you can begin taking right now in order to reach your goal? Well, I can start saving money, but I don't have any money to save. How can you get money? Well, I can start earning money. Mr. Green, my neighbor, asked me to mow his lawn. I could probably find some other odd job. That's the idea, Jason. Find a goal, then break it down into little steps that you can work on right now. Ones that will help you towards your big goal. Goals may not be so bad after all. That's right, they'll help you. Now maybe I can help you work on a career goal. Hold on, Amber. Let's look at one goal at a time. I think I'll work on my bike first. Who knows, I may decide to be a motorcycle racer. And this bike could be my, my one of my little goals. of camp because you can accomplish anything. Learning is an easy, embrace struggle and grow. I'm never a failure unless I quit trying, neither are you, by Jesus Christ. Okay, here's a quote. Good, better, best, never let it rest till your good is better and your better is best. Better is best. Alright? So 
get your get you did that doing better. Give it your best. So keep growing. All right, that's what we have our mentality here, a growth mentality that I can and I'll get better so I can be the best. Be the best, but not better than anyone else. All right. Awesome. Stand up if you have been to South or Central America. Yes. Uh, stand up if you like, if you ride the bus. Stand up if you like the color purple. Stand up if you play a sport. Stand up if you play Fortnite. Thank you for your attention. Here so White Buffalo Cop Woman said, when one sits in the hoop of people, one must be responsible because all of the creation is related. In the heart of one is the heart of all. In the honor of one is the honor of all. And whatever we do affects everything in the universe. today because this is an honor roll assembly okay and so I wanted to talk just for a minute about Longhorn Pride and honor roll um, as you probably know by now in order to get on Longhorn Pride or honor roll you can't have any twos in your habits of a scholar and part of the reason we do that is because we think that habits of a scholar are attainable and we do think that every student can get a three and a four in habits of a scholar if they're really trying and thinking about it throughout the year. And so that's one reason that we do that. Now, for honor roll, you have to have all threes and fours in your academic work. And for Longhorn Pride, you can have twos, threes, and fours in your academic work. And the reason we do that is because we do realize that sometimes you do struggle a little bit academically, but we still want to honor you, okay? And so if you're trying and you're earning a two, we honor you with Longhorn Pride. But, like I just said, your habits of a scholar, we're looking for threes and fours there because we think everybody has the opportunity and is able to get threes and fours in your habits of a scholar. So, um, today we're having this assembly to honor, appreciate, and celebrate the great works and great behaviors of the students who have made honor roll and Longhorn Pride um, for the second quarter. Okay. What I'd like you to do is think about for a minute, just take a little bit of time and think about the things that you did do this quarter that you were really proud of and think about the things that you could do better um, for this upcoming quarter so yes we are we're trying um, so just as you watch um, this but please be mindful of the things that you're really proud of and the things that you're hoping um, to improve on for the next quarter. I've never seen somebody so afraid to fail. I've never seen a society so afraid to fail. Pride and ego have taken the forefront of athletes' work ethic, pushing back the vulnerable mentality it takes to improve one's game. We obsess over perfection while forgetting the process of imperfection it takes to get there. Show me a player who's shooting 100% in practice, and I'll show you a player who's not taking game-like shots. 
Show me a player who doesn't lose the ball, and I'll show you a player who isn't going hard enough. Show me a player who doesn't make mistakes, and I'll show you a player who's not getting better. <laughs> it's funny because the other day, a player came up to me and said, Hey Trey, how many free throws did you miss? I said, 14, what about you? He said with the smirk on his face, zero. I said, well, how many did you shoot? He said, 15. I said, I shot 100. Bell Warner. I challenge every Hooper who steps foot on that court. Fail harder. Don't worry about what your coach may think. Don't worry about your friends judging you. Nobody. Any coach who bashes you for taking a risk and making a mistake is no longer a coach. He's a critic. Any friend who judges you for your mistakes in practice aren't your friends anyway. While they're busy critiquing, let's get better. Let's see who really has the last laugh. Tell them to enjoy the time now, because our time is coming. All we did was take the long way, the right way. Fail harder now, so you can succeed easier later. All of you here at 7th grade have an incredible team behind you. And so with that support, with that love, with that caring, with that work ethic, we urge you to take chances, to push yourself, to try in this next quarter. Um, how many shots did one take versus the other? You know, really try and close that gap by pushing yourself, walking that tightrope. We are here to support you, your friends, your teachers, your staff, um, the school. So be proud of what you did this last quarter, and let's push um, for more next quarter. So. by Julie Hebert. There are some days you may feel as if things just aren't going right. No amount of attempts to avoid. You step into a big mud puddle despite. On these days, to give up would be easy. You'd like to just walk away. And sometimes taking a step back may be exactly the right way. But at a point, you'll have to decide if you're going to let them win. This is the time that you'll have to look deep inside and see if you have it within. When you are ready to take the next step, and show that you are ready to fight. Avoid what you can, and it's okay if you can't, because no matter what, you'll be all right. Did great this past quarter, and I just want to keep on telling you guys to keep trying hard, okay? One of our initiatives this next quarter, for quarter three, is finishing up the year strong. So we really need to be working on perseverance. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little story. Oh, not a story, Mr. White. No, it's a good one. Okay, so when I was a kid growing up, my wrestling coach who taught me how to wrestle, told this story every year to me. And it was just a good reminder. So, let's say we're in Alaska. We have farms in Alaska, okay? And there's two frogs, and they're just hopping around. That's what frogs do. They're hopping around on this farm. They're going crazy as at night, and they both hop into this bucket of milk on it. And they just, milk is really thick. You can't just float it. So they, they're pounding around, trying to get out, and they can't, the sides are too slippery. They're just like, oh no, this is just too hard. Oh, they keep on paddling. An hour goes by, it gets a little bit harder. Like, oh, this is just really hard, but just keep paddling. They keep on paddling, keep on paddling. Four hours pass by, one of the frogs goes, this is ridiculous, I can't do this. And they give up. The second frog is determined to get out. They keep on paddling, keep on paddling, keep on paddling. An hour later, the milk turns to butter. It solidifies, and the frog presses his feet into that butter and jumps out of the bucket. So the moral of the story is, be positive, develop that sense of grit and perseverance, and good things will happen. This should be our initiative for quarter three. Yeah? Do you think we can do that, guys? Good. So, just even in the classes that I have you guys in, I noticed that you guys are responding really well this morning. Keep on plugging along. Good things will happen. Okay, guys? And then I think we have just enough time for some shout outs. So, Miss Douglas.
people I need to crew have planned some shout outs and I'm gonna start with my crew, but um, maybe you practice this, maybe you haven't, but when someone says I have a shout out, then everyone in chorus goes, shout out, okay? So let's practice. I have a shout out. Shout out. And then I say my shout out, okay? So we're gonna start with my crew. And I'd like to, to uh, introduce Miss Christina Martinez and Tanita Weissman. So, yeah, stand up. So, I have a shout out. Shout out! I have a shout out for our police crew for picking up our uh, recycling. And what I've noticed that it just makes our school look like clean. <laughs>